Hey, what's up guys, so you know it's best, and today I'm gonna to be checking out the NYX color sensor, and this little thing can basically scan and match any color no matter what type of material it's on, what type of carpet it may be on, or animal, it can basically scan and find exactly what that color is. And I'll show you how this thing works in action, but first I'm gonna take a look at what you get inside of the box. And so after you take off the main unit, you'll find this little box that features a microfiber pouch and also a micro USB cable. And because this device does not have an on-off switch, which I would like to see added in the future, um, you basically wanna make sure that you charge this thing up, especially the night before if you haven't used it for a while, just to make sure you're gonna have a charge inside of it. Uh, but other than that, the design of this thing is pretty unique. It looks basically like a diamond. Um, so it has a very nice form factor. It's small enough where you can just throw this into your laptop back and forget about it. Uh, but I don't know if I want to be carrying this thing in my pocket. I mean, it'll create a little bulge, which may be good for certain situations um, in your pants. Um, it is durable. So the material that it's made of can take some water damage. I mean, you don't want to throw this thing into the pool and fully submerge it. But um, if you're out using it in the rain or something like that, it should be fine. And any type of dirt or anything like that shouldn't mess with anything on the inside. Um, and so overall, this thing is small enough where you can just put this in your bag and forget about it and only use it uh, you know, when you need to. Uh, but it's a pretty nice, simple design that I do like. Now, the first thing you need to do before you can go ahead and start using it is to download their app and pair your sensor with that app itself. Now, the one thing that sucks is that every single time you open up the app, you have to pair it. Now, once you get it opened and paired, you can use it nonstop without having to do that process. Uh, but I wish the software would actually remember your device every single time so you don't have to keep going through that one or two extra steps. But after you get it paired, you're ready to go ahead and start using it. And the way it works is that at the bottom, it has a sensor and it has a couple of lights that will flash. And basically, uh, once you place this on an object, or for my example, I'm gonna place it on the wall here in my office, uh, it will block out all the other ambient light and just be able to focus on that particular color, it'll flash and then it'll save that color to your phone. You'll be able to see it in the app itself. Now within the app, after you do a scan, you'll be able to see all types of information about that particular color because what you'll find is that, you know, it's just not orange, it's just not blue. Like these colors have a lot of different numbers and different names depending on which color system you're looking for. Um, so this, this device is really meant to make it a little bit easier for you so you can be able to find out exactly what that color is. And so if you're a painter, you don't have to worry about guessing and trying to get as close as possible. You can get that exact color that you're looking for. Um, and so overall, I use this thing on a number of different objects from uh, in my little microfiber cloth that I have and even my dog. Um, and it did a pretty good job. It was a pretty accurate color representation every single time I use this thing. And so this sensor works very well. And who is it really going to be for? Who's really gonna be able to benefit from this? Well, off the top of your head, you're probably gonna be thinking maybe a painter or a graphic designer designer um, or somebody who does anything in that field, they want to get that accurate color, that exact color, don't have to worry about it going through a bunch of steps. This is going to be perfect for them. And then from the everyday person like me and you, maybe I'm just trying to paint my office a particular color or paint my entire house a particular color that I may have seen and I like maybe in a magazine or I've seen it outside. Um, you can use this thing to scan it and find that exact color. And so besides those couple things that I mentioned before, like the lack of an on-off switch and also the software not remembering the sensor every single time you open up the app. Um, uh, this device for its particular use case does a really good job. I think it's a pretty good thing. And if you're interested in it, I'll leave a link down below. You can go ahead and check out their website. But also too, they sent me a couple of these to give away and I'm gonna be giving away one for this particular video. And so all you have to do is leave a comment down below with your favorite color. And I'm not just gonna take just orange or red, get creative, give me a different shade of red or a different shade of orange. You may have to do a little bit of research, but give me your favorite color in a comment down below. And make sure you do follow me on all my social networks and also subscribe to me here on YouTube if you haven't already. And like always, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.